Does your Fluke 87 meter look like this? Missing LCD segments, ghosting, it's faded, it's fading, it's gone. Hey everyone, it's Hardy with Electronic Test Equipment. And today I'm going to break down the Fluke 87. I'm also going to show you a temporary quick fix to restore your LCD segments. Now, this quick fix is temporary. It only costs a couple of bucks, maybe less. Let's take a look. Step number one, remove the three Phillips screws on the back. Step number two, lift up from the bottom of the top case. Be sure that the dust still stays on the bottom case. Step number three, remove the nine volt battery. Step number four, Lift the PCB out of the bottom case by lifting up on the input connector. Step 5. Locate the soft keypad and place with the top case so you know where it is at all time. Step 6. Remove the LCD mask. Simply pry it off with your fingers or a small flat head screwdriver. Step 7. Remove the LCD from the main PCB. This may be accomplished by hand, or if necessary, a small flathead screwdriver or similar tool. Simply pry along the sides gently. Step eight, remove the old pink elastomer connectors. They may still be stuck to the LCD. Simply peel them off. Step 9. Using a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol, clean the top and bottom edges of the elastomeric connectors and the top and bottom edges of the back side of the LCD. Step 9 note. It may or may not be necessary to clean the main PCB through the elastomeric connector slots. Step 10. Reinsert the elastomeric connectors. Step 11, reinsert the LCD display. Step 12, reattach the LCD mask. Start from the bottom and then apply even pressure along the top until it snaps back into place. You wanna be careful not to break your LCD display. It is made of glass. Step 13, place the main PCB into the bottom case. Step 14, locate the soft keypad and place onto the main PCB. Step 15, reinstall your 9 volt battery. Step 16, place the top case onto the meter Starting from the bottom, apply pressure towards the top until it snaps into place. Step 17. Turn your meter on and verify that the LCD is clear and bright with no faded segments. Step 18. Reinsert the three screws to the back case. Be careful, not too tight. This concludes our video on the complete breakdown of the Fluke 87 multimeter. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you found this information helpful. And we'll see you on the next video.